welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going over the Shop My Stash that I've been having for the last two weeks. And then we're going to pick new products. Before we get started, obviously, please, if you like Shop My Stash videos, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you did and stick around. I do upload videos every Sunday and Thursday. And I think that that's all I have to say. So with that, let's get started going over all the products that I've been using for the last two weeks and just my thoughts on them. Okay, so I think it just makes the most sense that we go in order of how I apply my makeup. So first up is primer. This is the Cover FX Gripping Primer. And this is just a mini one, it's half a fluid ounce. And this was really good. I was taken aback by the texture. It is, I mean, dare I say like the thickest, you can't really see it because it's clear, but it is the thickest primer I've ever used. It is just, it is tacky. I've used even the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and this is thicker than that. It is just very dense. It has like no viscosity to it. So just be warned with that. This really does help your makeup grip. I think gripping primer is a very appropriate name for this. It will help with the longevity of everything now that it's getting a lot hotter. Just anything that can just keep the makeup on my face and stop it from running down would be fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna continue using this. I really do like it a lot. And let's go on. I did not do a foundation for this Shop My Stash only because I've been doing a lot of pre-filming. So I've been doing a lot of foundation wear tests. Those are my favorite videos to do. I just love testing different foundations. So it didn't make sense to me to pull in a new foundation if I was just gonna be testing new ones. So we did not pick a foundation. However, we did pick a concealer. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I don't think they make this anymore, which was part of why I chose it. This is in the shade Light Warm, and it looks like this. It is very warm. So there it is on the back of my hand, very warm toned, like I just said, and ooh. This was already pretty low down here. I did like this. You just have to be very careful. It's very thick and it's very full coverage. It does claim to be waterproof. I don't know about that. I find it a little bit drying. I wouldn't say this is my favorite. Typically, I lean more towards lighter coverage, just complexion products. So putting this into the mix kind of sometimes would look a little off because it was a little bit more full coverage. And if you overdo this, it is very, very apparent. I don't necessarily struggle with dry under eyes, but I felt like it would just dry out my under eye and make it very apparent that I was just like the concealer looked very caked on if you use too much. So just word of caution if you have this and you haven't used it. But other than that, I don't hate it, I just don't love it. I don't think it's something I'll be reaching for quite often. I think I almost like, I don't have a lot of full coverage concealers, but I do have the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and I think that I prefer that concealer over this one. It's just a little bit more hydrating than this one, but this is still a good concealer. I do think I'm, I'm pretty close to being finished with it, so I'm not gonna declutter it. I'm going to keep it. I think that we can get through this before it goes bad and then we will say goodbye to this one forever. Next up, we have complexion products. So we have bronzer, blush, and highlight. So let's start with the bronzer. This is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronzer and this is the shade two. So this is an older product from Dior. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. It's very light, even though it's number two. So it looks like this. It has, you know, the little pink in there. So that's what makes it a little bit more of like a bronzer blush. I do think that, oh yeah, you can't even see it on camera. I do think that Dior was a little bit ahead for this. This was, I've definitely had this before all those 
products came out that were a blush bronzer in one. I still don't use it as a blush. I think it's definitely more of a bronzer. Everything I'm speaking about is on my face. And if it's not, it's listed in the description box below. However, yeah, I do really like this. Other than it just being a little light for me right now in the winter time, this will be fantastic. I pulled it out just because I know I have another Dior bronzer, the newer one that has like the cushion compact that I haven't tried yet. So I wanted to give some love to this one before I opened that one. And that's why we went with this. But this is really great. I don't know if they still make this or not. If they do, I would pick it up. I really like it. I think it's nice and subtle. It gives like a healthy glow to the skin. I don't like it in the crease. So there was one time I think I wore it as an all over shadow. And for whatever reason, usually I like that. I did not enjoy that with this product. So if you're someone who doesn't use a lot of products and you usually use your bronzer in the crease, I do that quite often, then I actually would not recommend this. I didn't like it. I think I just prefer more of a contour shade in my crease just to kind of give more an illusion of a shadow. And so this kind of looked off because it's a little bit more warm tone than cool toned. But yeah, really like this, gonna keep it. I'm gonna reach for it again. Like this is one of those products that I just never reached for and forgot about and it's it's really great. For blush, so I have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in 10 Rosy. So this is what it looks like if I can open it. Looks like this. I really like this. However, I mean, you can't even see it on my cheeks anymore. It's completely faded off. Maybe we'll apply a little bit right now. It's a little bit light, so I wouldn't say I have very dark skin. I wouldn't even say I'm in medium. Like I would maybe say I'm on the, the far end of the light range, if anything. So for it to really fade and not show up on me, I think if you have any kind of a deeper complexion than myself, this would not show up. It's very nice color. It's a great blush. I just don't think the lasting power is there. And I don't think that the depth is there if you needed it to be. But for fairer people or lighter people than myself, this would be great. Just again, you're going to run into a problem with longevity for sure. And then lastly, we have highlight. So this is the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. This one was like an anniversary collection, I think, which is why it has the, the little champagne embossing on there. And I mean, I don't know what I can say about this other than, I mean, other than what everyone said. This is a cult classic highlight for a reason. It's really great. It just goes with everything. I don't have to worry about if it's too warm toned, cool toned. It's just a very neutral everyday highlight that's just it's it's good to rely on like this is just a staple product you can rely on that will work every single time I want to say that Smashbox I know Smashbox took some of Becca's products and they're rebranding it under their own label and I think that it was this what the highlights I don't know necessarily about this shade but I think it was the highlights and we missed this and the color corrector. So let's just go over this real fast because I missed it. I did have the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in light to medium. You can't, still can't get this since Becca is now out of business. Just here's a swatch on it. This is the light medium shade. It's very emollient. I did use this sometimes, like my under eyes have just been really, really dark lately. So I've been using a color corrector on top of the concealer Well, sometimes. I didn't use it every single time because I did want to just gather my thoughts on the concealer since I was a little iffy on it. But I do think that you can get this still now with Smashbox. As far as the formula with Smashbox, I can't speak on that. I don't know if it's the same, but this is also just a cult product. That's why Smashbox took over those two products from Becca for good reason. They were the, probably the only money makers from Becca. So, I mean, it makes sense business-wise why they did that. But this is a really great color corrector. I haven't tried very many. I don't own very many to compare them to. But this one's just one, just like the Becca Highlight. When they make good products, they make good products. And you can really just rely on them to just get you through anything. 
The only thing with this is that you do have to use a very light hand. Like you saw my swatch, I've shown you swatch for color. I really just like dip my ring finger in like this and then just like pat it and like blend it with another finger under my eyes. There's not a lot that you need for this to cover. And if you do, it'll just be way, way too much. Just a few more products to talk about. So this was just a mini of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. So I had this mini, I'm pretty sure I got it as like a point perk from Sephora. It's just a clear, well, it's not, I wouldn't say it's translucent. It does have like a slight light color to it. I'm holding these other products in my hand, but it comes off translucent, at least on my skin tone. So it was the first time I tried it. I had just opened it up. I realized it had been sitting in my, my powder drawer not being used and I didn't wanna buy a full size until I found out my thoughts on this, but I really did like this. It's maybe a little bit more mattifying than I would want in the winter time, but for summer, I could see this being a really great powder. I would just take my sponge here, press it in, go under my eyes and then for my face, I would just take like a very wispy brush here and then just lightly powder. I don't use a lot of powder. So I would just lightly powder to just set everything and this worked really great. So I did really like this. If I go through this and maybe like one or two other powders, I would consider repurchasing this. I did like this quite a bit. All right, so we have all these little tiny things that will just speed on through real quick. Let's start with the ones that I'm gonna roll over into next round. So this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. So I broke the spoolie off of it. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but I took it with me on my trip to Arizona and the spoolie broke, but I'm, I'm determined to finish this. This is what the shade looks like. And then we have a mini of the Benefit Gimme Brow. I actually purposely just bought this for my trip to Arizona, just so I had a mini. And this is the shade three. I mean, these are staple products again. I'm gonna roll both of these over just because I do think that two more weeks of this, I will finish this. And this, I just need to finish too. There's still quite a bit, like, let me roll it all the way up. There's this much product in it. So I don't know if I'll get through it in two weeks. I don't really do, I don't fill in my brows too much. My brows don't, don't need too much help, I don't think. Once I run the gel through, I'm really only filling in some, some sparse areas. But hopefully, hopefully we can get through this. So those two products, we're gonna roll over into the next round, just so we can kind of just finish those off. Let's do lips. So I had two lip products. I had the Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Pulse. So this is like one of those lip crayons. I think I got this in a set of three, which is why it's a little bit smaller. So this is what this shade looks like. This is again, the shade Pulse. I like that it's very thin. I like that it's shiny. It's I really like this a lot, actually. I don't know if I'd ever use this. The only thing is it has like this pencil sharpener. Well, it has this pencil product and I don't think that I have a pencil sharpener for it. I should, but I don't think I do. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do once it gets low. I don't really necessarily wanna buy one just for one product. So I wish that it was a twist stop. I wish that you didn't have to sharpen it just because if you did like, it doesn't come in just the standard pencil sharpener. And that's just me being ultra, ultra picky because yeah, I wouldn't just like probably remember to just grab one at the store or anything. It's probably something I'd have to spend two minutes ordering on Amazon, but like I really just don't want to, I guess is the point. So this was really nice. The other lip product that I had was the mini in the Fenty Beauty lip gloss, and this is in the original Fenty Glow. So I'm gonna swatch this on top of the lipstick and then I'm gonna swatch it separate. I mean, this is fairly old. I think a lot of people know what this looks like, but just in case you don't. So this is on top of the lipstick and then this is by itself. This is a really great product. Again, this is not new or anything like that. I really like it. It's light enough where it's a go-to for me if I don't, if I'm not wearing chapstick. A lot of the time, 90% of the time, I'm really just wearing chapstick if I'm out and about. 
I just like my lips to feel hydrated. However, with this product, I don't, I don't feel like my lips are dehydrated. So I feel like this still hydrates my lips, gives it a little bit something extra. I'm actually gonna put some on right now. And even though this is the mini, man, it's lasting me a long time. You do not need a lot of this to really get you through. I can't really see how much is in there, but I've, I've had this quite a while and I use it. I would say this is my most used lip product. So it's gotta be getting down there. It's gotta be. For setting spray. So I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. This is like the bane of my existence. I don't know what it is. This is the smallest setting spray bottle you've ever seen. How much is even in here? I don't, I don't even know. What does it say? One fluid ounce. And like, I'm still only halfway done. I use this all the time. I took this with me on my trip to Arizona. Like, I feel like it got halfway through and then it's just like never ending. It keeps filling up. I don't know what the witchery is with this, but... I mean, it's a nice setting spray. I can't say that I use setting spray to make my makeup last longer. I'm more using it. I usually honestly spray it on my sponge and then press it into my skin to kind of just take down that powder look. So it works really great for that. As far as longevity, I can't really speak to that because it's not something that I ever paid attention to or noticed, but this is really great to take down the powder look. I'm just debating if I wanna take it into the next round because I'm just like really just sick of looking at this, but I think we'll we'll skip it and we'll try and give some love to some of my other setting sprays and just use this maybe a next time. I almost forgot two of them. So let's go over these really fast. These are, let's see this. So this is the liner that I use. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven liner in whiskey. It looks like this. And again, this is just like the setting spray. I cannot get through this. It like, it got this far down and then it's like it just stopped, stopped disappearing. I do think I'm gonna roll this over. I'm gonna roll this over along with the brow whiz and the gimme brow just because I think I'm gonna give this two more weeks and then I'm going to declutter it and just start with another liner. I just have way too many liners to get through. I think I've given this enough love. Two more weeks and you are you are done, sir. And then this is the mascara that I used. So this is the L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Lash. It's my, mine like is all dirty. There's like a sticker and then like stuff got on it. So I have some thoughts on this. I don't like, and let's see how can I explain this? The, this is the lid. So here's the brush, looks like this. I don't like that the lid is heavier than the actual component because every time I want to open it like this. So that's my first just complaint about this. I did when I bought this, I did like it originally. I felt like it really separated my lashes and I liked this mascara. I remember everyone talking about it and I agree that it was really great. I don't know if mine's too old because it just would transfer down. Like even now you can see I'm wearing it. I don't know how much you can see, but I just felt like every video that I was filming with this on, like you could just see mascara transfer. Now it wasn't like, you know, running down my face, but I could just see little flecks everywhere every single time. I, this is either just my opinion changed on it or this is just no longer good. I've definitely had it longer than three months. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's just not good anymore. Just even putting on my top lashes, it was super clumpy. Preferably I like a more natural lash. I like it to be very separating. I want it to give length and you know, I want it to look full and fluffy, but I don't, I don't look for that false eyelash look that a lot of people seem to like. I want it to be a little bit more natural and this did do that, but it does not anymore. So this is going to be leaving my collection. We are going to declutter this. I think it's time is over and that's all I have to say about this one. And then lastly, we have the eyeshadow palette. So this was the only thing, this is the Rose Quartz by Huda Beauty. 
I have drawers full of makeup that I haven't opened yet. I have that just kind of set aside so I don't forget about it. And I did pull this from that pile just so that way I could also give some love to products that I haven't even tried yet. And here's what it looks like. You've probably seen it. And I really like it. The shimmers are really pretty. Let me swatch some of them. So here are some of the shimmers. You can see this one here. I, it's not something that I would wear every day, but it's good enough where I could. I mean, I did for the Shop My Stash, obviously. So, you know, there are some colors where I, if I'm wanting a little bit more neutral, you know, like this radiate color is gray enough. This one here is a neutral enough where I felt okay wearing it if I just, I didn't want like, purple eyeshadow. So I, I did really like this. I can't say I did not use this Love Stone, this like Petri dish one. It's just like a clear gloss. It looks, I don't like how it looks. I mean, I don't really get that trend. I'm, I mean, I could try it, but I, it's not really something that's high on my to-do list. Wearing glasses, I just can't see how that would really go. So I did try most of the shades. You know, I use the dark shade as liner. I really did enjoy it. I'm glad that I picked it up. I That was one of the palettes. Usually I wait a little while before I purchase things because I know I have so much that it's just gonna sit there. Like there's no point in me getting something right away when I just know, like I could wait for a sale or anything like that. So this was one of the first things, like I bought it on launch day. So I was really looking forward to that palette. A lot of Huda Beauty's palettes can be a little bit more colorful than necessarily someone like myself just enjoys. So once I saw that one, I just, I'm really happy. We're like leaning more into this cool tone neutral look. It's, it's having a moment I'm here for it because when we were doing the warm tones, I did not enjoy that as much. I, you know, like I like gold and stuff, but for whatever reason, I just prefer cooler tones on my lid. So I'm really happy that that's kind of starting to trend a little bit, or it's just, it's just not like those mustard yellows and all those just really fiery tones. I'm glad we're, we're having a little bit more variety. So I'm going to milk that for what it's worth. And now that I've rambled on enough, I think we're just gonna pan over to me picking out my new makeup for the next two weeks. All right, so here is the primer drawer. It goes back more. And I'm just trying to think which one I wanna use. I did use this one recently, so we're not gonna use that one. I think I've used that one. Let's use this one. So this is the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is the hydrating primer. They have different ones, but this one I can feel is like just low. So let's see if we can get some use out of this one. I really just want to finish off some of these ones that are just really low on my primers. So this is the one we're going to do for that. All right, so here's foundation. There's actually two drawers, but we're not going to be picking from that one. We're going to be picking from this one. So I'm just deciding which one I want to use because it also has to match me shade-wise. I think I'm gonna use this one because I don't even remember the last time I've used it. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Foundation, and this is the shade Warm Beige. So I know that this was dark for me when I had it in Arizona, so hopefully it works for me now. Let's just kind of look at it. I think that was a full pump, that was a lot. I think that it'll be okay now in the summertime. I've been a lot darker than my normal Arizona foundations because back then I didn't really go out in the sun. I would be working 60 hours a week. So we're gonna give that a shot because I know I didn't wear a lot because it was just so dark for me. So let's go with that one. For concealer, so I don't have a very big drawer of concealer. I'm going to swap out my Becca color correcting for this Benefit one. This is the shade number two. Just looks like this. 
And we're gonna use that instead of the Becca one just to kind of change it up. I just have some backup sponges back here. That's what's back there. And then for concealer, these are kind of the ones that match me shade wise, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's use, what is this? Let's use this one. Oops, this is the Catrice Camouflage, Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. So I have used this quite a bit. You can see like a mark in it, but here's what it looks like. It's looking a lot more yellow on camera than it is actually in person. But yeah, I do like this. At least I think I do. I don't remember the last time I used it. Since it has a fill line, you can see that they're from it laying on its side from right there. So let's see if we can get more use out of this. All right, powder. So I should really like think about this more rather than just being on the spot. I think I'm gonna do a pressed powder this time. Done that one. Mm. Where is my, this one. All right, I'm gonna do this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I have, ooh, that's a sponge, I'm doing this with one hand. I have quite a large dip in this. Can you even see? There you go. You can see that, so maybe I can hit pan on this. This is a really nice powder, and since it's kind of more of a blurring, mattifying powder, I'm hoping it'll go well with the foundation, so that way it will kind of counteract it, and it won't be like loomy on loomy on loomy, so let's give this one a shot. All right, for bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. I think, let's do this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade two. So it's this big giant one. I, I've used this once or twice. I've not used this that much. So let's get our thoughts on this and just see more how this wears. I know it's very, very popular, so I have high hopes. I just, I don't even remember how I liked it. All right, for blush, there's a little bit more blush. We're gonna go back here. I think, usually I'm trying to like switch it up, like high end, low end, but I kinda wanna do this one. This is the Natasha Denona. This is a blush duo. So this is the palette number 15. And here's kind of what these look like. These are both really not pigmented. So you kind of have to really build them up. And like, is that even a blush or is it more of a highlight? And they're very powdery. So I'm gonna give this a shot for two weeks. We're gonna see if we want to keep it around or if we want to declutter it. All right, for highlight, let's go with a drugstore highlight for this. Let's do this one. So this is the Catrice More Than Glow Highlight. Is this even opened? Yeah, so it looks like this, has this like really pretty flower imprint. It's kind of pink leaning, so pinky silver. It's looking a little bright. This might be too intense for me, but we're gonna give it a shot. I don't remember my thoughts on this, so let's see if we can give this some more love as well. I mean, that's the purpose of these videos. So let's add this to the pile. All right, a little out of order here, but I have lipstick underneath this next drawer. So let's go with that. I think I need to do another lipstick declutter. I think I'm actually gonna pick two just because I notice that I just tend to go for the most neutral ones because I want it to fit every look and that's not what we should be doing. So let's do one of these bare mineral ones. Which shades do I have? So I have this lip gloss. This is, oops, 
This is in the shade Groovy. I have this matte one. This is in the shade Hemp. And then I have XYZ, and this one is also a matte. So for sure, I think we'll do this gloss. And then which matte one do we want to do? This one's Hemp. Did I say we were going to do a non-neutral? I didn't mean it. And then this one's XYZ. All right, let's do XYZ because it's a little bit darker. And then we'll also do groovy. So let's just see kind of how that looks on top. Ooh, it's rolling. And then even maybe like mixed, just so it's not a matte. All right, all right, I like that, I like that. All right, so let's go with those two. I lost it, there we go. So we're gonna go with these two bare minerals, the gloss, and then also the matte liquid lip. Okay, so I already had brow products, my brow pencil, brow gel picked out, and I already have my liner picked out. So we're just gonna pick mascara. And I think I'm gonna go, cause I did use this one in a shot my stash already. I've used this one. So let's go with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I remember I did really like this along with everyone else, but it could be like the same situation as the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes. This could just no longer be good anymore. So let's give it a shot. Let's test it out and let's see if we're gonna say a final hurrah to this. All right, here we have some eyeshadows. Again, I think I'm gonna do what I did last episode where I pick out a palette that I haven't tried yet. There's actually more than one drawer of eyeshadow palettes, but we're gonna go with this one. This has like the smaller ones. I'm gonna do this one. This is the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. This will kind of give me like some options to do some neutral looks if memory serves. And then also maybe there's like a little bit of color. Are you gonna come out? What do you look like? Here's what you look like. So yeah, I think we can do some really nice looks with this. We have some like neutrals here and then we have some of the pinkies that everyone loves, including myself. So I think that this will be a really great palette to kind of just get our thoughts on and test this one out. All right, and then just a quick recap of all the products, make sure we're not missing anything. I did pull out a setting spray. I have all my setting sprays kind of in a weird spot, so I didn't wanna film it. This is the Pixie Vitamin Makeup Mist. So I have about, maybe about 20% of it gone. So let's try and get some usage out of this. After that, this is kind of a recap of everything. So we have primer, we have foundation, we have powder, we have bronzer, blush, highlight, we have brows, liner, mascara, lips, concealer, and eyeshadow. So I think we're good. These are the products that we're gonna be trying for the next two weeks. And then I will come back and let you know how they all worked out for me. And with that, I think that that's all I have to say. Hopefully you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I think I've already said that in the intro, but it's worth saying again. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.